For this one, I'm going to bring back research from our naked mole rat presentation, which can be found at endalldisease.com slash episode 8 if you haven't seen it. The naked mole rat, which literally does not age, has more highly saturated tissue phospholipids than rats, which live much shorter lifespans. So the naked mole rat, compared to typical rats, lives sometimes 16 times longer. So we're going to compare and contrast the cells of the non-aging naked mole rat with the damaged cells of the eye. So as this diagram shows, stress causes saturated free fatty acids to be released from tissues for energy. Saturated free fatty acids are used and the stress ends and is switched off. In malfunctioning eye cells, the nature of the stress response has changed. No matter what you want to call the eye condition, it's likely caused by the exact same thing. Increased unsaturation of the phospholipids comprising the eye cells. This is what the stress response looks like when cells have accumulated a high proportion of polyunsaturated fatty acids to saturated fatty acids. So the stress occurs, which causes unsaturated free fatty acids to be released from tissues, those unsaturated free fatty acids are then used for energy by cells. And because they're so unstable, toxic fragments are formed from their oxidation, triggering more stress to be produced. And one example of the toxic fragments, which I refer to, is prostaglandins. But it depends on which kind of fatty acid we're talking here. So what we're looking at here, then, is a vicious cycle of stress caused by the oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids. So basically, the stress turns on, and it cannot switch off because of what's happening here. So it repeats, and this is when aging and degeneration occurs. So the question is, how can red light therapy interrupt this vicious cycle of stress and help the cells of the eyes heal? Red light interrupts the vicious cycle of stress in a number of ways, but here are two powerful ones. Red light inhibits the enzyme COX-2, which inhibits the breakdown of free fatty acids. So during stress, an enzyme is produced called COX-2, which triggers the release of free fatty acids into the bloodstream. And one of the things that red light does, it inhibits the production of COX-2, thereby inhibiting and preventing the release of these free fatty acids into the bloodstream. So that breaks the chain right there. If COX-2 is inhibited, the unsaturated free fatty acids will not be released from tissues, and they will not be used for energy, and then the toxic prostaglandins and other fragments will not be formed, which will not be promoting stress to continue. So this whole vicious cycle of stress is broken, by red light therapy inhibiting COX-2. But there's more. When you apply the red light, there's likely going to be lots of these toxic fragments from PUFA oxidation in the area that need to be cleaned up. Well, red light is a potent antioxidant, so it scavenges these free radical stress promoters. So this is how red light therapy can benefit the eyes, and this is, I think, is, these are, these are, I think, the two primary mechanisms behind why red light therapy is so beneficial for so many different eye conditions. So let's be clear on this. The very cause of these eye problems and loss of visual acuity and eye degeneration is the gradual accumulation of unsaturated fatty acids within tissue phospholipids of the eyes. So if that's the case, red light therapy is a great way to improve that condition. And as we've seen, it lasts a long time. However, if you want that to be permanent, there are some dietary considerations and dietary changes that you must make to the fats that you consume. For long-term permanent resolution of eye conditions caused by excess unsaturated tissue phospholipids, in addition to red light therapy treatment, a dietary change to more highly saturated fat is essential. These fats include butter, coconut oil, chocolate fat, and beef and lamb fat which contain about 98% saturated fatty acids and very little PUFA. Any oils that you have in your kitchen that are liquid at room temperature, if you switch those for butter, coconut oil, chocolate fat, or beef and lamb fat, then you are eating a diet containing a lot more saturated fat than unsaturated fat. And this in the long term will help your body detoxify the PUFA. And of course, your eyes and all cells will begin to function a lot more effectively when you do that. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.